One London family and their Europe car rental car head to the south coast for a weekend away. For our full itinerary, check out the description below. Like the video? Give us a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos. We got to try out a Europe car long term lease rental and we had the perfect weekend away. One of the perks of Europe Car's program is that you can switch out cars monthly with advance notice, and they even do drop off and pick up. We were able to trade in our Volkswagen Golf for our seven seater Chirag, so we traveled in comfort. As you veteran road trippers know, having the right car makes the journey as enjoyable as the destination. First things first, where is the South Downs National Park? Covering 1,600 square kilometers, it runs from the cities of Winchester to Eastbourne. Driving from London down to the South Coast takes a little over two hours. Here are seven things you can do in this corner of the South Downs around Beachy Head, which would make a perfect weekend away. Enjoy the scenic drive! We love the diversity of the landscape, green rolling hills, white chalk hips, dense green woodlands, and charming little villages. And what my city kids would consider wildlife, cows and sheep. Next, say hello to the Seven Sisters. The Seven Sister Cliffs are so called because with their white cliffs and dark tops, they look like nuns in black habits to sailors in the English Channel. Technically now there are eight sisters because of the erosion of one cliff. There's the Seven Sisters Country Park behind the cliffs themselves. Mind the Berlin Gap. Berlin Gap is a National Trust property. You can see where the cliffs have eroded and where there are houses just perched on the edge. Take the stairs down to the sheltered little beach. Get outdoors and get active. What can you do in the South Downs? Pack your bikes, we're going cycling, or hiking, or walking, and kayaking, or general mucking about. All of which is deserving of an ice cream. Enjoy the local food scene, whether it's gourmet restaurants or family-friendly fare. It may be a road trip, but we spent plenty of time out of the car. The towns are plenty to explore, too. We went to the charming little town of Alfreston, which is located in the South Downs National Park. Alfreston has the distinction of having the first National Trust property, which is a medieval thatched clergy house. It is such a cute little English village to explore, full of little shops and cafes. Could it get more English? How can you visit here and not partake of tea and scones and cake? This is gooseberry and elderflower cake. Not sure what either of those are, but I get to meet a cake I didn't like. The hymn Morning Has Broken was written in Alfreston. Can't you just see it? Keep the little kids happy at Drusilla's. Right outside the village of Alfreston, Drusilla's is perfect for younger kids with a zoo and play areas. Thanks for watching this video on our road trip to the South Downs. As you can see, there's plenty to do for the whole family. If you liked what you saw, go on and give us a like and subscribe for more videos. We, we would love to hear what you think.